In this video, we will review the supine pediatric splenic examination for demonstrations of palpation and percussion. A normal spleen can be palpated in up to 30% of neonates, 10% of school-aged children, and less than 3% of teens and adults. To examine a child or teenager's spleen, first have them lie supine to ensure the patient is not tensing their abdominal muscles. We start by using your fingertips and slowly progressing from the right lower quadrant up towards the left upper quadrant with gentle pressure in coordination with the patient's deep inspiration. The aim is to let the spleen come to your finger and not the other way around. As you palpate, assess for a firm feeling spleen, irregular edges, or if the spleen is tender to palpation. The right lateral decubitus position is another way to examine the patient and allows for the spleen to become more anterior. Of note, in infants, their spleens tend to enlarge inferiorly towards the iliac fossa, so be sure to examine inferiorly to the spleen's anatomical position as well. For percussion of the spleen, we'll focus on two techniques, castile sign and trobe space. For castile sign, percuss at the lowest left intercostal space at the anterior axillary line. Listen for dullness during inspiration. To percuss trope space, identify the triangular area marked in yellow, marked by the mid axillary line, the subcostal margin, and the sixth rib. Confirming on ultrasound, our patient did have mild splenomegaly with a diameter greater than the 90th percentile for her age of 11 centimeters. Check out www.peedscases.com for more great podcasts, videos, interactive cases, questions, and more. Press subscribe on iTunes to get access to all of our podcasts. If you like what we do, please leave a review on the iTunes store. Share with your friends and colleagues, or think about getting involved.